Today is a great day because I'm about to take the C5 Corvette out of hibernation for the summer, but before I do so, there's a couple of things I have to take care of to make sure that it's supercharged LS1 engine that is currently at about 680 horsepower to the crankshaft stays healthy. Of course, one of the items will be an oil change, but the other task we'll be doing is an injector balance test that I'll be performing with my Autofix D1 Lite, and that is the subject of today's video. Toys for life. Making sure the injectors are balanced simply means that they're all flowing about the same amount of fuel and none of them are clogged or partially clogged. Now, other than doing the balance test like the one that we're gonna be performing today, it's very difficult short of removing the injectors and having them flow tested on a bench of making sure that each injector is flowing about the same as all the others. Why is it important to make sure that the injectors are fairly well balanced? Because if any one of the injectors is flowing less fuel than the other injector, that particular cylinder is going to be running lean at wide open throttle and if it runs lean it's going to run a lot hotter which ultimately can lead to piston failure especially cylinders number seven and number eight in LS engines for some reason. Having balanced injectors is important for all performance engines but if your engine is boosted with a supercharger it's even more critically important in my opinion because the combustion chamber temperatures are already going to be running a lot hotter than a naturally aspirated engine. While this test is being performed there will be a little bit of fuel injected into each one of the cylinders and so I like to have the engine warmed up in advance. That way most of that fuel will likely evaporate and if any of it gets past the rings into the oil I also like to do this test right before I do an oil change. That way if there does happen to be a little bit of fuel contamination in the oil, it'll be removed right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the C5 up. I'll back it outside where I can let it warm up properly. Then I'll pull it in onto the lift where I can go ahead and change the oil as soon as we're done with the balance test. The first step is to remove the cap from the fuel rail and go ahead and connect the fuel pressure gauge and set it in a safe spot. Next I'll go ahead and connect the wireless dongle for the Autofix D1 Lite to the C5's OBD2 port and then turn the key to the run position. Now I will use the auto detect feature for the Autofix to identify that it is connected to a 2003 C5 Corvette with a manual transmission. Then I will go to the Hot Functions menu, Injector, Powertrain, and finally, Fuel Injector Balance Test. Now we're ready to start the test, starting with cylinder number one. The test works by recording the beginning fuel pressure in the rail, and then pulsing each cylinder's injector one at a time a specific number of pulses, and then we also record the final fuel pressure observed for each cylinder. When the test is done, we look for any cylinder with an ending pressure that is materially higher than the others, which would indicate it is not flowing as much fuel as the others. So as you just saw, my injectors appear to all be flowing pretty close to the same. And again, to get any more precise, you'd have to remove the injectors and have them bench tested. The injector balance test is just one of the incredibly useful things that the Autofix D1 Lite can do. To be crystal clear, this video is not sponsored by Autofix or Autel in any way. In fact, I paid for this unit with 100% my own money. And in my opinion, it's been money well spent. So if you're interested in one of these Autofix D1 lights, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below. Guys, if you learn anything in this video, please nail that thumbs up. Consider subscribing so you don't miss the next one. And most of all, thanks for watching.